Hello and welcome to the webinar. Today we'll be discussing how to create a great user experience with Neptune launchpads, progressive web apps and hybrid native mobile clients. But before we get going, I just have a quick job to do if you don't mind. I just need to use a Neptune application on my iPhone to quickly scan a barcode which will filter a list of products so it only shows the one I've scanned. On my phone here, I have the application on my home screen and I can open it up. Since I've already logged in before, I can simply tap on my username and then I can either authenticate with a pin code or with any supported biometric methods such as Face ID. And there we go. This opens up a Neptune launchpad. Within the launchpad, you can see there are a few tiles and each tile contains a Neptune application. Let's open up the barcode scanner app. And here we can see a list of products has been generated. And this data is based on real live data from an external API. At the top of the app, we can see a search box and next to it, I've added a button. We can press this button to open a dialogue, which will allow the camera to scan a barcode. So let's do just that. I'll allow access to the camera. And here I have a barcode ready to go. And just like that, it's the product I was looking for. But let's take this one step further. Let's imagine I've just lost my mobile connection, but I still need to get this job done. So let's jump into airplane mode. And then quickly you'll see that the application has changed to offline mode. But luckily, Neptune applications make working offline really easy. And you can see the offline indicator in the top right hand side of the app. Here I'll clear the search box and I'll scan a different barcode. And there we go, still works just fine. You can see the different barcode finds the other product I'm looking for, all without a connection. And that's pretty good, right? This entire application took under an hour to build, completely from scratch, and to have up and running on its own launchpad, mainly thanks to the help of application building blocks, which I utilized to create the product cards. And then I could simply bind those cards to my custom product data source. And then I added another application building block to include the barcode scanning functionality. And these application building blocks are available within the Neptune DXP cockpit store to download and use for free. Now you might be thinking, this application I've just shown you on my iPhone must be a hybrid native application since it has barcode scanning, it has offline functionality and a custom app icon. But in fact, it's just a progressive web app. Today, PWAs are capable of a lot and offer a number of advantages if you choose to use one. But hybrid mobile clients still have their own best use cases. Either way, both options use a launchpad. But what is a Neptune launchpad? We'll start by first understanding this and then we'll see how a launchpad can become a progressive web app or a hybrid mobile client along with the benefits and considerations of each option. Once you understand this, you can make the best choice as to which one to use to provide your end users with the best experience possible. Not only when it comes to using the applications you've built, but we'll also discuss how you can distribute a launchpad, a progressive web app, or a hybrid native mobile client to actually get it onto your users' devices ready to go. To get started, let's contextualize a scenario where you've reached a decision point and you'd have to understand the potential of a launchpad, of a progressive web app, and a hybrid mobile client so you can make the right choice as to which one to use. So let's imagine this situation. You or your team have been busy working away, rapidly creating lots of great web-based applications. You've been utilizing a number of components of the DX platform, finding and downloading building blocks from the store to quickly assemble a range of functionalities and components. 
you've designed some APIs to incorporate external data into your platform and into your applications. You've been using the table tools to create and maintain your database. And you've even written some service scripts to perform some custom logic. All this hard work has produced a number of different applications that meet all your requirements. And these apps have been added to tiles, which have then been organized into tile groups and then ultimately assigned to a launch pad. So now the launch pad displays all your applications. The Neptune Launchpad is a powerful, responsive, web-based container designed specifically for Neptune applications. It provides the apps running inside it with navigation, personalization, and role-based access control. You can think of the Launchpad as a dashboard, a central place for all your users to access all their applications. By default, your users can access the Launchpad via its URL in any browser on any device. It's just a web page. This allows them to log in to the platform and view only the tiles and thus the applications that their role allows them to see displayed within the launchpad. And this all works great so far. For a lot of use cases, this will be more than enough to benefit from the power of the Neptune DXP, since you can easily just share the URL for your launchpad with your users, they can log in and they can use the apps. But this launchpad already forms the foundation for a progressive web app, a PWA, or a hybrid mobile client to be built around. And what do I mean by built around? By this, I mean alongside the ability to use the launchpad standalone, you can choose to wrap the launchpad up to create a PWA or a hybrid mobile client, which users can then access to view the launchpad and the web-based applications it contains. Users will see a PWA or a hybrid mobile client as an app on their mobile device, just like I showed in my demo. From a user's perspective, they're unlikely to notice the difference between them, but each option offers some additional advantages. But at this point, you're probably asking, what is the difference between a launchpad, a PWA, and a hybrid mobile client. All three options essentially offer different levels of functionality, but all use the same web-based foundation of the Neptune platform, just with progressively more native containers wrapped around. And what do I mean by this? I mean a launchpad is the most browser web-based option of them all. It's just a web page. Like almost every other web page on the internet, that utilizes HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to present your applications and allow you to interact with them. A PWA takes that launchpad web page and gives an extra layer or wrapper around it that gives it all its extra functionality. A PWA can be run within the browser, just like a launchpad, accessible by a URL or it can be added to the home screen of a mobile device, giving it that app icon, which opens for a full screen native app-like experience. PWAs are designed to work on any device in any browser. A hybrid mobile client takes the PWA concept one step further, essentially taking the launchpad, packaging it up and platforming it so it can run like a native application on a mobile but is classed as a hybrid native mobile client because it still uses that same web-based foundation of the Neptune launchpad. This makes more sense when you compare it to a traditional, fully native application, which are custom built from the ground up for each mobile operating system, and they might not be using a web-based foundation to run. Most of the apps installed on your phone today will be this type of fully native build type. Hybrid mobile clients can give you the same benefits as a fully native application, whilst utilizing the power of Neptune DXP's web-based development. These hybrid mobile clients can't be run within a web browser, so require distribution considerations and have to be downloaded and installed onto a device to be opened and to be used.
In terms of the functionalities these different options provide, PWAs have improved massively over the past few years, boasting more and more features, thanks to ever-improving web APIs, which allow the communication between websites and the devices that they're running on. Today, PWAs are capable of all the features you can see here, plus many more, meaning a PWA can do almost anything a native application can. I would recommend checking out what PWA can do dot today. It's an up-to-date index of all the functionalities that PWAs are capable of. Each feature has an explanation and you can see it in action since the web page itself is a PWA. A hybrid mobile client, which is built with Apache Cordova, has all the same native capabilities, plus the ability to have NPM modules built directly into the iOS, Android, or Windows applications, providing even more extensibility and custom functionality opportunities. We can have a look at the process for creating a PWA and creating a hybrid mobile client. They're both quite different. First up, a PWA. Neptune software couldn't really make it any easier to turn the launchpad into a progressive web app ready to run on desktop, tablet, or mobile, on any device with any screen size. You simply enable the setting within the launchpad, and you're done. Once enabled, you have the ability to set a custom icon to display when the PWA is added to the home screen of any device, along with the ability to easily enable PIN code or biometric authentication login methods. The launchpad will use the same URL it's always used, but now it will be PWA enabled. This means when you visit the launchpad on a device, you'll either be prompted to install the PWA or you'll have the ability to add the PWA to your device. And this process differs for iOS and Android and desktop, but we can see an example here on desktop where in Chrome, you can click to add the PWA to your machine, either via the URL bar or within the prompt inside the page. On iOS, you simply need to open the share menu and press add to home screen, where you can then provide a custom name for the PWA. And just like that, it's added, ready to use. Building a launchpad into a hybrid mobile client requires a few additional configurations within the platform and some extra steps to get everything up and running. First of all, you need to create a mobile client within the platform. This wraps up your launchpad for each operating system with all the plugins, config files, and icons into a single zip file that you can then download and save. Any Neptune software partners or customers can then utilize the mobile build service available within the account portal for free, where you can upload the zip file and any required certificates or signing keys, and we can do all the hard work for you, generating the ready to use hybrid native apps. Alternatively, you can choose to take the zip and on your own using Cordova CLI, you can add the desired platforms to the exported files before taking this into Xcode, Android Studio or Visual Studio code, combine it with the correct certificates or signing key to manually generate the apps for the desired platforms. Once generated, you can distribute these hybrid native mobile clients via any app store or any mobile application management solution of your choice, such as Microsoft Intune. Or you can scan the QR code generated by the Neptune mobile build service to install the app straight onto your device. Now, there are two key considerations to keep in mind if you choose to use a hybrid mobile client. First off, you'll need to create the appropriate certifications or keys for any of the platforms you're building for. And this is required to get the apps working on the mobile devices or to distribute the apps via any app store. Apple will require you to sign up for a developer account, set up an app ID, generate a certificate, register any devices, and then create a provision profile, which is known as a P12 file. 
For Android, it's a bit more straightforward, but you'll still need to create a sign-in key to create a release version of the app. Second of all, if you make any changes to the mobile client, such as adding new plugins or changing the icons and splash screen, you will need to re-export the zip file from the platform and rebuild the applications for each desired platform. However, once you've set things up the first time, it's unlikely you'll ever need to do this. Bear in mind, any changes to the launch pad or any of the applications running within it do not require the mobile client to be rebuilt. These will always be automatically up to date every time you open the client. There's also a use case where the hybrid mobile client can add extra functionality that the PWA doesn't currently offer. For the SAP edition of the Neptune DXP, you can configure a number of alternative authentication methods, allowing your users to log into the platform and thus into SAP using services such as Azure Active Directory, SAML, or you can even set up completely custom methods to suit your requirements. So, to summarize all this information, a launchpad, a progressive web app, and a hybrid mobile client all offer different advantages. Picking the appropriate one to use within your business to provide your users with the best experience comes down to the required functionality of the applications and your preferred distribution methods. You can qualify your choice by asking these questions. Do I need custom NPM module functionalities to utilize device features within my applications? Or am I using the SAP edition and do I need to implement custom authentication methods to access the system? If so, you'll want to utilize the hybrid mobile client. If not, do you need the app to utilize device features? Do you need it to look and feel like a native application? And do you want to benefit from an easy to deploy, faster download, HTTPS secure app that supports working offline? If so, a PWA is the best choice. If you don't need any device features or any other kind of custom functionality, and you're not bothered about having an app icon, then you can easily just utilize the launch pad in the browser in its own right. And that concludes this webinar. I hope you now have a clearer understanding of launchpads, PWAs, and hybrid mobile clients, and which may be best to use for your launchpads and applications. There's lots of documentation available on the Neptune community site if you'd like more information about any of the topics that or tools that I've discussed here today. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you all again soon.